For breakfast, I'm having another um, pizza egg or egg pizza, but I made it. I'm gonna eat it more like a taco. It's like mid breakfast, in between breakfast and um, lunch, but I'm gonna have some chai tea. I just put water, some rice milk, and um, what? Oh, a little bit of honey. And I'm just gonna drink this during my video. I want it to be really relaxing, so. And I was in the mood for some tea, so why not? Why not? I thought this was my mug, but my sister keeps saying that it's hers. And I thought it was mine. Oh well. I just wanted to show you guys um, these dark chocolate superfruits that we bought from um, Costco. They have cranberries, bing cherries, and blueberries. Oh wow, they're super big. Let's take one. I wonder what this one is gonna be. Mmm. Oh my god. Get out of here. That's humongous. I wonder what this is. What does it look like? Mmm. It's definitely cranberry. Let's look at the serving size here. Fourth of a cup, so about 23 of these. Only 180 calories. I would not eat 23. That's ridiculous. Real fruit, natural flavors, and colors, and gluten-free. It's a great snack. Definitely. So today we're making some stuffed peppers for the first time. Um, so we have some tomato sauce. Um, three just medium-sized peppers. Um, and... Um, some I chopped up some mushrooms and my sister flavored up some tofu with just some bouillon cubes like um, beef flavored ones and a little bit of pepper that's it Jack mm -hmm. um, and you just cook it up a little bit and it looks a little bit like ground turkey meat I'm just reheating some brown rice, some leftover brown rice, and I'm making a little bit of quinoa so I can mix in there. I have to saute the mushrooms really quick before I put them into the little mixture, the stuffing I should say. These are just portobello. So far in the bowl we have the tofu and the brown rice in here. Okay, so put the quinoa in here with the little mushrooms, just gonna mix it up. I'm gonna add a little bit of panko, which are breadcrumbs. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of already made pasta sauce, uh, marinara. We usually, a lot of times we make our own. Right, Jackie, you make your own? But um, we just want this fast, so we're just gonna, I'm just gonna put a little bit in here. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> We're just kind of winging it, you know? Sometimes you just gotta do the whole trial and error thing. And stuff this up. Oops. It's okay. You can clean that up later. Stuff it up. You could put some corn in this or a little... Um, well, I don't know about black beans because I don't know how black beans will go with marinara, but some kind of color. We didn't just... I don't know. We didn't, we didn't mean for this to be all beige. Do you want me to put my own sauce on mine? <laughs> Do you want to put your own sauce? <laughs> Would you prefer that? I don't know, let's say you're struggling holding the camera and then... I'm not struggling. Yes. It's just weird. Do you want me to put it on? or yeah, go ahead. Extra sauce, please. That's going to cost you a little bit extra. More than that, please. Okay. Do I put cheese on this? If you want to put your cheese, you guys can put some cheese in there. This, what kind of cheese is that? Kobe Jack cheese? Yeah. And it's does, organic. Okay, so does mom want one? Yeah. Okay, so. I don't think I want one. I don't know. This seems kind of weird to me. Cheese and pepper. Oh. People do also. I guess that's not weird. Okay, that's let me mom's? get me. Yeah. I don't know. Let me get one. I'll just put it on all of them. Okay. Do you put more sauce at the bottom? I 
don't know, maybe yeah. surrounding it. Yeah. Okay, let's put a little bit of sauce on the bottom so it doesn't burn. Oh, that's gonna take a long time. Just what do I do? It. Pour it? The yeah. whole thing? Just not the whole thing. Okay, this. So I just pour like this. Mm -hmm. Looks weird, right? <laughs> like, it looks like a mess. <laughs> I think you're supposed to put the marinara on first and then you put the peppers on top. Well, of I didn't know if I was supposed to do that or not, so I didn't. Open up the. Oh my god! Your pepper! No! Your pepper! Your pepper! Oh my god. I'll just open this for you. Stick her in. Um, what is it? 350 degrees for like 15 minutes? I don't know, until it's just like nice and melty. So here are the peppers, fresh out of the oven. They look really yummy. They took like 15 and 20, like 20 minutes, I'm gonna say, to cook. So I can't wait to eat these. I baked some kale. Um, what I do is just put a little bit of olive oil, um, some sea salt, or kosher salt actually, and I baked them for um, 15 minutes at 350 degrees. And then what I do is I just sprinkle some, squeeze some lime on top of them and they're just delicious. And then I have some nopales here, which are um, Mexican cactus. Um, so they start off super green, bright green like this. And then once they start to cook, they take about 45 minutes to boil. Um, they start turning this really bland green. And then you could chop them up and put them in your eggs with your frijoles, um, which are beans. Or like salads and stuff like that. Um, they're really tasty. I just put like a little salt in the water. And that's about all you need. I'm just sauteing um, these Brussels sprouts and broccoli. Put a little bit of pepper. And just some sea salt. This is kosher salt. Kosher salt. You have to be careful with how much you put in. Ooh, that was a lot. Okay, there we go. Just going to mix it up. I'm cooking with coconut oil. I get that from Costco. And just making sure that this doesn't overcook. I want them just to be bright green with a little bit of crunch. I don't want to overkill my veggies here. Mm. So now I'm going to make the tofu. Um, I just put a little coconut oil in this. I'm going to lower it because I don't want it to be too... Oh, i got to clean my stove. Okay, so tofu, I just cut it up into little squares. This is the last of it. I'm so sad. we got to get more. Um, but I'm just going to put some pepper. And then a little bit of salt. Like so. And just mix it up. Like so. Make sure that there's enough. Seasoning. You can always marinate this too, like in lime or lemon juice. Mm, I would say fresh, not from the little bottle thing. I don't like that stuff. It's gross. Um, you can mar put like bouillon cubes in it. Like that'll give it like a beefy flavor. So it's like you're eating meat. Okay. And then I think my pan is hot enough, so I'm just gonna put these in here and just pan fry them. Okay, so I like my tofu. Let me just pick it with my finger. A little brown, just like that. So that browning actually makes them a little um, crispier. Not too crispy, but yeah. Gives them a little texture because this is very, very um, soft. So this is what my plate looks like, or my bowl, I should say. Um, I would... I would have thrown some quinoa or like brown rice in this, that would be perfect, but I just wanted something really quick and that quinoa and brown rice would take like longer, so I decided not to. I'm just going to eat it like this and enjoy it. And Let me taste the tofu, see if it's how I like it. Mmm. Oh yeah, yummy. And a little crispy, I like that. Bon appetit to me, eh?